Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sane, and today I... Well, I guess not today, but... Throughout the week, and throughout just my time while I'm doing stuff, I like to listen to YouTube videos, watch YouTubers, stuff like that. And I'm on a big Pokemon trend in life right now, just love Pokemon again. And I've been seeing a lot of different videos by YouTubers such as M and JTV and others talking about their own Pokemon concepts. I always, you know, like to think of my own Pokemon when I was a kid and stuff like that. So I actually sat down, thought about some new Pokemon concepts, and even went into Microsoft Paint and kind of recolored them. Gave him stats, gave him some Pokedex entries, stuff like that. And I've got my five favorites that I've done so far today. Gonna put them in a little video. And I want to see what you guys think about these. Uh, if you think they're kind of cool Pokemon ideas, I'd love to get your Pokemon concepts maybe in the comments below. I could get a collection of new ones and do some more and do a second video follow-up on, on from this one. But this is going to be my first, my five favorites. So here we go. So the first one I ever thought of was Torkoal, which is, this, this is all like... All of my concepts are basically regional variants of them. You know how we have a lowland Alol variants and Galarian variants forms. All of mine are kind of the same premise, and this is a Torkoal variant. In Pokédex Central, this this is a Rock and Ghost type. I thought this is a really cool typing that we haven't seen before. Um, the Ghost type helps the Rock deal with fighting, and that's kind of it. It's just like it's just unique, and I feel like there's some cool things to do with it. So the Pokédex entry for this Torkoal is that these Torkoal from centuries ago, who have long since passed, have had their souls tormented by an evil Pokémon, now f and brought back to life. Now forced back into the world of the living, the spirits had no choice but to return to their old, now fossilized bodies. And that's where I think the rock type comes in. I think the Torkoal who, instead of, you know, mining coal and have been, you know, doing what they've done to get their energy, their bodies have been done, have been dead for so long, have been swallowed by the ground and have become fossilized that they gain the rock type. And then, of course, the ghost type, because their spirits are kind of controlling their body now. And I recolored it. I gave it more of an orange tint, kind of an amber fossilized color to it, as if it's been, you know, fossilized. And the shell is kind of this dried-out coal that has no energy. And then the smoke is just kind of this purplish spirit smoke. And then I gave it some really awful eyes. I know those eyes are awful, but I think some eyes that kind of look like the... Uh, ghost Pokemon you see in Lavender Town when you have the Sylph Scope. I think that's kind of what this spirit looks something like. And it just kind of controls the body. And then I think it, it would eventually get an evolution. Um, this would be a, a original concept for an evolution, like a Pokemon we've never seen before. I have no idea what it, lo what it would look like. I think maybe it turns the Torkoal's body upside down and kind of just abandons it. Uh, maybe some like feet come out of the little uh, steam holes over here or something like that. And I think just the yellowish glow is like the soul is like, is like the life. And I think his eyes open up. Finally. No, I thought it was a cool idea. As for abilities, I think Curse Body and Anger Point both make sense. Curse Body, since it's a ghost, kind of, you know, uh, puppeteering its old zombified body. I think Curse Body makes a lot of sense. And also Anger Point, just because they're such vengeful Pokemon. As for Hidden Ability, I don't really know. Maybe something like Shell Armor or Weak Armor could be something interesting. Uh, as for stats, I keep this. I keep the same base stat total of 470, but I move it around to make this thing a lot more of a tank, giving it a really high physical attack. Uh, loses special attacks since it's not really shooting out fire anymore, and it's said instead using ghost attacks and rock attacks and stuff like that, giving it more HP, lowering its its uh, physical defense, but also raising its special defense a little bit, dropping its speed and special attack, and giving it a lot more attack, making it a you know, great trick room tank i think as it evolves it gets even more attack a little bit more bulk and even less speed making it just an absolute monster in trick room um, and the trade-off like competitively is you could use torkoal with an eviolite and be like a really scary tank in trick room or you can use torghoul which is the evolution work in pro name work in progress but whatever and just have an absolute monster in trick room second one i thought about was arcanine now the funny thing is i was looking at pokedex entries for these for these pokemon and the pokedex entry that i use for arcanine is actually exactly what it is almost exactly what it is in gen 1 i think that's super funny but this arcanine is flying type and the pokedex entry is the wind god pokemon and this part is this part right here is what actually is in gen 1 a beast that runs agilely as if on wings that's literally what it says in gen 1 pokemon red blue and yellow that's literally what it says it's so funny and Arcanine is such a crazy, like, it's, it's classified as a legendary Pokemon. So I think it's got some amazing abilities since it already has, like, Intimidate. So I think Aerialite is very fitting, and Cloud9 also just kind of makes sense. 
This thing is a wind god Pokemon. It's a mono flying type. I think it just recolors. Maybe the mane turns into look more like actual clouds. And the thing looks like it just kind of runs in the sky. Gets some flying type moves, but also has aerial light to turn its normal type moves like extreme speed into flying type moves, which would be just crazy. And then I keep the same stat total again here, which is 555, but I move it around so it's got even more speed. So it's got 130. It loses a lot of its bulk, um, only having 65 in its defenses and 85 HP, and then drops its attack a little bit to make it bounce out a little bit more with special with 105 special attack and physical attack. You could use this thing as a physical or a special attacker. Maybe it has you could use it with Cloud Nine as a special attacker with maybe like Hurricane. Or actually, I don't know why you want Hurricane and Cloud Nine together, but like Air Slash. Some things like that. Or you make it a physical attacker with extreme speed, which is kind of the main way I would think to use it. But really cool Pokemon. I think it's really funny that it's, that it's Pokedex entry is just already talks about it as, as if it runs with wings. And I think that's perfect for it to be the flying type. I just think the ma the main being kind of clouds instead of like these, this, this is ball of fluff. I think the main kind of being these clouds and the Pokedex entry and just this thing running really fast. Oh, this makes sense to me to kind of be this like cool wind god Pokemon. Next up is a Kangaskhan re variant, which is Steel and potentially Fighting type. I think I left that as a question mark. I think Steel is more fitting, um, but if it adds on a Fighting type, I think that's it, it works well, but it also doesn't need it necessarily. And this pretty Pokemon, this pretty Kangaskhan coats its body in tough armor-like scales to fend off hostile Pokemon and predators in its area. Instead of living in the you know the the safe Safari Zone, I think this Kangaskhan maybe lives somewhere up in the mountains. Maybe lives somewhere in like a a Sahara, some some kind of hostile terrain where there's a lot of fighting, maybe, I guess not a lot of fighting types nearby because the steel wouldn't really help. Maybe there's a lot of rock types nearby. Maybe there's a lot of hostile, I don't know, dark types or whatever. Poison types, stuff like that. I think there's, there's a lot of hostile Pokemon that want to fight it off. So it turns its scale-like part body parts into steel and it gets blue coloring just because the blue coloring looks super cool. And its claws turn into metal. And I think the cool idea is that the, the baby kind of has a dirt metal part to it, or like the dirt armor to it. Like the head is kind of, that's just like some dirt. It, it rubs on its on its head to kind of imitate as if it's got some body armor on. I just look at Kangaskhan and always look like all these things kind of look like body armor. And I think it's such a cool idea. And as for stats, I made it a little bit more tanky instead of being like a, like a bulky sweeper. I think it made it more of just a straight up tank. The same base total of... 490. It's got 110 HP, 100 in both attack and defense, 85 special defense, 75 speed, and only 20 special attack. I think battle armor and weak armor are two armor-based abilities just make perfect sense. Battle armor to negate crits, and weak armor to drop defense within raise speed if you wanted to be like more of a speak, maybe more of like a sweeper. I think just two two cool armor types. I mean, or armor type, armor abilities. Thing just turns into a steel type. I think it's a really cool idea. And then fighting could be up in the air. I mean, yeah. Next up is Lapunny. And this one is a. I really love, love Lapunny. And I always just kind of looked at his eyebrows and used to think that they looked like lightning bolts all the time. And it kind of going back to the idea of clouds with. Cloud fur with Arcanine. I, I always kind of thought these like fluffy parts of the body could look like clouds. And so I thought of this, this Lapunny is, lives in a static terrain, some kind of static terrain, whether it's near like a power plant factory or in a rainstorm, or like, or like a rainforest, somewhere there's a lot of rain and, and lightning and stuff. Uh, the fur starts to store and conduct electricity. So I think this Lapunny is a mono normal type. Original concept, I thought about maybe flying as if the, the fur coat, fur cloud parts were actually clouds and give it some flying type, but I think it's just funnier if, it, if they look like thunder clouds. Anyways, it's mono electric type, and I think two really cool abilities for it would be lightning rod that it stores electricity into its fur, into its like really furry parts, and then galvanize would be just super cool. That now that this Pokemon is adapted to its electric terrain and static A terrain, a lot of its attack have turned into electric type attacks. And again, all of these little parts down here can store electricity. These little thundercloud like fur parts, and then. Everything that's yellow is where the electricity electricity comes out. So when it uses Thunderbolt, maybe its eyebrows kind of twitch and like shoots electricity out of it. Its tail will glow and its hands or its little claws will conduct electricity through that. Or at least electricity through that. And I made this thing kind of similar to Arcanine, just like a get lost it lost a lot of its bulk and made it more of a fast sweeper. With 125 speed being the main selling point. 
95 attack, and then 70 in special defense, special attack, and HP, and then dropping down to a really low 50 defense. I think this thing will just be really cool. Sweeper Pokemon, I think Galvanize is a really cool ability. I like the abilities that change normal type moves into some other type, and I think it just fits so perfectly with this thing. And I don't know, this is this is a really cool design. Maybe that maybe the tan body could change into something else. I don't know what else, what other color. I didn't really experiment with, the, with that color enough, but I just think the thundercloud looking fur and the electrical body parts that can conduct electricity are just a really cool idea. And the last one I went with is probably the most the, the least original looking design. I think like looking at this green grass type Mawile, it looks like it's actually in a Pokemon game. Like this looks like a legit Pokemon to me at least compared to all the rest. These Mawile just find themselves living in like a forest instead of a cave and they become Phoenix Flytraps to catch prey. Like the, uh, the inspiration behind this was like Carnivine and Audrey 2, you know, giant, 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 like, uh, flesh eating plants, like Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. That's kind of how I took the inspiration from this Mawile. And I think grass is perfect type for it. Poison is also potentially there, um, but grass for sure. I think a cool ability for it would be Arena Trap. I think if it's going to be changing from having abilities as good as Intimidate, it needs to have something else that's really good and really cool and unique. I think Arena Trap would just be really cool since it's like this this mobile Venus Flytrap. You know, like all Venus Flytraps are kind of like planted in the ground. But Mawile's not. It's got it's got some feet. Also, just it, its feet look like leaves. Like in, in their move Razor Leaf, its feet kind of look like that. So I think it just fits out. It just fits perfectly. And I changed it from being more of a tank to be a little bit more speedy and a little bit more of an attacker as it like to really you know, go out and become a predator. So you have 80 attack, 80 speed, drops its defense a little bit while still making it somewhat bulky with 70 defense and 65 HP and 50 special defense and then a really bad 35 special attack. And I think this thing, maybe instead of getting a mega evolution, would then get a actual evolution. Maybe it evolves into actual Carnivine, something, I don't know. Maybe it evolves and gets more Venus flytrap heads. Maybe it gets like two or even three. I think that could be really cool. And maybe it looks like a a Toxapex where these two leaves right here look become you know these Venus flytrap looking heads and it kind of just like bulks itself down under that and I think competitively it would be like this arena trap stall Pokemon you you hit things with leech seed protect um, synthesis uh, maybe like ingrain or something substitute and you just stall things out anyways that's it let me know what your favorite is I think my personal favorite it's probably Lapunny. I think the electric type Lapunny is just, is super cool, but the OG one was Torkoal, and I think it's it's the first idea. It's probably the most creative idea, with Lapunny being my personal favorite, and this Mawile being probably the most realistic. Anyways, let me know your favorites below. Let me know your ideas for original concept for Pokemon in the comments below. Maybe I'll do another video with some more Pokemon I've done, uh, some more type combinations, stuff like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.